Hello and welcome to another episode of the Night Shift and today we shall talk about a drug which has been in debates and has been highly politicized by the media the drug which can be termed as either the snake oil of the 21st century or the miracle drug of the 21st century let's talk about ivermectin in under 5 minutes so let's get started so what is ivermectin Ivermectin is a drug which was essentially discovered in 1975. It is an antiparasitic drug and is being used against a whole plethora of diseases like onchocerciasis, strongyloidosis, filariasis, lymphatiasis and many more. Not only in humans but it is also used in cattle as an antiparasitic drug. It can be taken either orally or you can apply it topically on your skin also. The question that now arises is how does this new drug or what i should say how does this drug old drug work against the sars cov2 virus the first theory is that the ivermectin uh, inhibits the host alpha or beta 1 nuclear transport protein which are a key part of the intracellular process that the virus inhibits in order to depress the host's antiviral response and the other theory is that docking of ivermectin to the human cell membrane actually prevents the spike protein of the virus to attach to the human cell thus decreasing the severity of the disease and not allowing the virus to grow further so these two theories in fact have given to this trend where people are taking ivermectin in huge huge quantities and that has led to a lot of fatal effects a lot of people may even have even died due to overdose of ivermectin So what are the adverse effects of ivermectin that we can see there can be itching there can be rashes if you take it in large quantities there can be nausea vomiting so the question that arises is is this drug safe should we be taking this drug the question is however not that simple it is not all black and white there is a lot of gray in between so let me tell you about this first of all ivermectin is not a suggested drug or it is not a recommended drug for the covid treatment by neither the world health organization or the american cdc and even in india icmr has dropped it from its guidelines see i was working as a covid doctor in back in the second wave right and second wave was due to delta and a lot of people were having severe issues from that a lot of people ended up in icu and hdu where i worked they were on oxygen and a lot of people died during that but during that phase we were also giving ivermectin to every patient in most of the patients we were giving ivermectin to them the thing is that even doctors are very highly you know uh, divided when this comes to the use of ivermectin those who have worked in the previous uh, let's say uh, in the uh, waves let's say the wave 1 and the wave 2 they prefer i give they prefer giving ivermectin to their patients and some of the new doctors they totally discard the use of ivermectin because in theory there is no clinical you know relevancy that this drug actually reduces the severity of covid or duration of hospitalization of the patients the paper which was released in the international society of infectious diseases suggested that this drug works you know further clinical trials actually suggested that there was no relevancy of this drug and as to how it worked against covid virus so the question now arises is should you take the drug or not see it's a very highly complex question to answer but the thing is that now in this day and age you need to have information yourself before you take any drug and being informed is the most important thing you can do in this pandemic apart from you know all the counter measures that you can you know take to keep yourself safe like wearing mask and sanitizing your hands and you know keeping yourself hygienic and clean and staying away from crowded places and yada 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 you all know that stuff right but the main thing is that you should be informed about everything that you are taking either a drug or the news everything because information is the key in this age thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye